Hello everyone, welcome to Lane Academy. My name is Shala Jai. In this tutorial video, we will be taking a look at subtraction of fraction. So let's get started. Let's take a look at one example of subtraction of fraction 1 minus 1 over 2. So how do we go about this? Now note that the 1 you have there is also the same thing as 1 over 1. So just having uh, a 1 you can also equate it to 1 over 1 then we can rephrase the question as 1 over 1 minus 1 over 2 so the next thing to do is to find the LCM that is the lowest common multiple of 1 and 2 which is equals to 2 then you draw the dividing line and put the LCM at the new denominator which is 2 then how many times will the first denominator of the first fraction goes in the LCM is 2 then you multiply it by the numerator of the first fraction which is 1 it still gives us 2 then we have the second fraction denominator which is 2 dividing it by the denominator the LCM which is also 2 will give us 1 then we multiply it by the numerator of the second fraction it still gives us one so we have one in this case then two minus one of the numerator gives us one then all over two so this is how to subtract uh, two fractions from each other so let's take a look at the second uh, example here you are asked to subtract uh, three o number five over eight minus one o number three over eight uh, the first step to do here is that you will notice that these two fractions are not in their original form so the first thing to do is to change to its original improper fraction so how do we do that we do that by multiplying the numerator or uh, the old number by the denominator which is 8 for example in the first fraction we multiply 8 multiply by 3 we give us 24 then 24 will be added to the numerator which is 5 to so 24 plus 5 will give us 29 so that's why we have 29 over 8 in the first fraction the minus on the second fraction you are going to multiply 8 multiply by 1 which is which will give us 8 then add it to the numerator which is 3 which will give us 11 so you have 11 over 8 so now we have the the prop the improper fraction which is the original form so the next thing to do is the SCM between the two values which is 8 and 8 is still 8 okay so dividing 8 the first denominator of the first fraction 8 divided by 8 will give us 1 then 1 multiply by the numerator will give us 29 so for the second fraction you divide the denominator of the second fraction which is 8 by the SCM which is also 8 so it's going to give us 1 then you multiply that 1 by the numerator which is 11 it still gives us 11 so we have minus 11 so 29 minus 11 will give us 18 divided by 8 so this is the answer to the question asked above so that means 3 o number 5 over 8 minus 1 o number 3 over 8 will yield 18 over 8 also we might decide to break this answer further down by taking 2 out of dividing both the numerator and the denominator by a common factor of 2 we give us 9 over 4 because 18 divided by 2 gives us 9 then 8 divided by 2 we give us 4 so we have it as 9 over 4 and if you check this fraction properly 9 over 4 you will notice that uh, it's an improper fraction so let's try to convert it to a proper pr fraction so the first thing to do is how many times will 4 go in 9 which is 2 so we have 2 whole number then we have the remainder which is 1 1 over 4 so 9 over 4 is also the same as 2 o number 1 
over 4. So invariably we can state that 3 o number 5 over 8 minus 1 o number 3 over 8 is also the same as 2 o number 1 over 4. So if you have been blessed with this tutorial video, you can click our like button, share this video to as many people, like our channel and see you in the next video. Thank you. Bye for now.